Hello, St. Paul Public Schools students and families. This video introduces you to Metro Transit Transportation. It will help you understand how to ride the Metro Transit bus, also known as the City Bus, to and from school. This fall, high school students in these schools will be using the City Bus to get to school and back home. This video will help you get ready for the fall. Here's a short video by St. Paul Public Schools students, teachers, and the superintendent about riding the city bus. Riding the bus is actually really easy. It's, it's a good way of getting to school. I took the transit for the first time to school and I had to get on a bus and then I took the light rail and it was really easy. You know, I grew up taking city transit to, to my middle and high schools, uh, so I understand that that's a big difference for some. Uh, but I also believe that we can partner with our community to make this a, a really good, uh, positive thing for St. Paul Public Schools. And so students are walking, biking, getting dropped off, carpooling, and then also a good number of students are taking Metro Transit now. Well, about 20 to 25 percent of my students are taking the city bus. I'm really glad to see that Metro Transit has, has stepped up to partner with SPPS to, to get our students to school. I think it's been pretty smooth for people who understand their routes and even if you don't, you could always just ask a teacher and somebody else for help. And if you are really lost, like while you're riding the bus, you could always ask a bus driver. For me, it's a straight shot home and I'm pretty sure if you live in the area, it won't be that bad. It's like six or seven stops, you know, till you get to your house. If you have a phone, I definitely recommend you get the transit app because all you have to do is type in the address of the school or just type in, you know, your school name and it'll show you everything, what time to walk out the door, what time your bus comes, and it just makes everything way more easier, especially if it's your first time riding the bus. Now we're going to show you the different types of Metro Transit and the benefits of using them. Metro Transit has two types of transportation, the bus and the train or light rail. Using Metro Transit has several benefits. It's convenient, you don't have to worry about traffic or the weather, it's available to you anytime, even before and after school. Plan your trip in advance so that you know what time to go to the bus stop. You can find out your bus route using one of these methods. By calling or texting the phone number here, checking the website, or by using the Metro Transit apps. Here is an example of how to plan your trip using the website. Once you enter the information, the result will look similar to this example. It tells the route number, the intersection of your nearest bus stop and time, when you will arrive at your destination, and other information you need to know for your trip. Similar information will display on your phone if you use the Plan My Trip by text. Students may use their school-issued iPads to download the Metro Transit app to plan their trip. Once you install the app on your iPad or phone, you can access the same information as on the website. Here's an example of the tools you can use on the app. Here we're going to talk about how to ride the bus. High school students in St. Paul Public Schools will receive a go-to card like this to ride the bus and train. Check your school emails and letters from your school this summer for information about when you will receive your card. The card is paid for by St. Paul Public Schools and it has unlimited rides. Once you receive your go-to card, you can use it to ride the bus and train any time of day to go anywhere. In addition to riding to and from school, you can use your go-to card to ride the bus to go to work, to the library, or anywhere that you need to get to. Your bus stop will consist of one or more of these things, a shelter, a sign with the letter T, or a picture of the bus with the word bus stop. Make sure to dress appropriately for the weather and be at the bus stop at least five minutes before the bus is scheduled to arrive. Make sure the route number on the bus and the bus stop sign match. When you see the bus approaching, get up, stand on the sidewalk, and make yourself visible to the bus driver. Do not step into the street. Once the bus completely stops, you can get onto the bus. Do not run after the bus. If you're late, wait for the next scheduled bus. Enter the bus using the front door. Allow individuals with mobility differences to board and exit the bus first. As you enter the bus, you will see a card reader that looks like this. Put your go-to card in front of the card reader to pay for the fare. Your go-to card is paid for by St. Paul Public Schools, 
so you do not need to pay to ride the bus or train. Buses have designated areas for individuals with mobility needs. When you're close to your stop, you can let the driver know by either lightly pulling on the rope or pressing the bell. When the bus has completely stopped, you can safely exit through the middle door. If the door doesn't open, press the green strip. Enter the bus at the front and exit the bus through the side. Riding the train or the light rail is similar to riding the bus, but there are a few more safety precautions. Wait for the train in designated areas only. Do not stand on or cross the track. The train may approach in both directions at any time. There is a gap between the platform and the train. Take extra precautions when entering and exiting the train. Never stand in the yellow area. The light rail that St. Paul Public School students can access to and from school is the Green Line. This train runs from downtown St. Paul all the way to Minneapolis with multiple stops along the way. When you're on the train, you will see and hear announcements about upcoming stops and other useful information. Emergency phones are located on the light rail platforms and in the light rail cars if you need to use them. Simply swipe your GoTo card at the kiosk located on the train platform before you enter the train. In the next few slides, we will talk about some safety tips. Metro Transit has a code of conduct to make sure that everyone is respectful and safe. Please review this document prior to your first day of school. The bus and train are public transportation. All rules and regulations apply to everyone, adults and students. Please keep your voices down and do not litter on the bus. Riding the city bus or the train is very safe. However, it is always a good idea to practice safety habits and be aware of your surroundings. Dress for the weather. Keep in mind that you will spend a good amount of time outside waiting for the bus and in some cases walking in between transfers. If you can, wait at a well-lit bus stop. Don't run for the bus. Be aware of what's happening around you. Keep your electronics in your pocket or stowed away, and keep your personal items such as backpacks and purses close to you. If you're concerned about your safety, you may call or text these phone numbers. If you forgot something on the bus or need to talk to customer service about your concern, you can call this number. This is the end of this video presentation. Your school is the best resource to help you with questions related to riding the city bus. If it is during the summer, you may contact Metro Transit or visit the district's transportation website here.